Hello, today we're going to have a look at bulk inserting for Microsoft SQL Server in Management Studio. First off, you can see that my table is empty and has three available columns. Now let's take a look at my source CSV file. We have a number value, a char value, and a money value. First thing we'll do in our query is specify the function, which is a bulk insert, the table name, and the file name in single quotes. Next we need to specify what separates the fields and what ends the row. The slash n indicates the new row or the next line. Now let's go ahead and run my query. Now you can see here that I experienced an error with one of my rows. We'll talk about that in a second. Before that, let's take a look at my results. The results look good except I'm missing a row. The error message a moment ago indicated a problem with my build description. Let's take a closer look at the build description column. You can easily see in the column name this is limited to 50 characters. You can also view the full properties. Now I'm going to go ahead and insert the individual row. I'll clear out the other rows in my CSV file and resave the document. And of course I need to get my second column below the 50 character limit. In this case, Notepad will only allow me to save the document as a text file, but that's just fine. Now I can go ahead and update the file name in my query and run it once again. Let's look at the results one more time. You can now see that the missing row was added. Now let's practice deleting some of these rows and then I'll import the CSV once again correctly. Be sure to use caution with the delete function. You can easily delete everything from a table. When possible, use a where statement. I'll start off deleting any bill number higher than 3 and then I'll go ahead and delete the rest. Next I'll remove the where statement and run the script again. I can now correct my original CSV file and run the bulk insert one more time. I hope this video was helpful. Thanks.